rise up this morning. Smile with the rising sun. Freely be bird. Jim White on Talk Sport. Jim White on TalkSport, Friday lunchtime, Friday, December the 23rd, Christmas Day almost upon us. And in Scotland, it's a busy old time of it uh, because the old firm look forward to playing each other. Locking horns, Penny and Bob on New Year's Eve. What a game that will be. Rangers will play Celtic and right now Rangers 14 points behind Celtic. Before that, uh, Rangers are up against Inverness uh, Cali. That is tomorrow. That's at Ibrick Stadium and that really is must win for Rangers. Uh, I'm delighted to say, guys, we're joined on the line now by one of the most popular players at Ibrox. I've been up there and I've seen him play, and Rangers fans love this fella. Martin Waghorn, good afternoon to you, Martin. Hi, Jim. Hi, lads. How are you doing? Hi, Martin. You okay? How are you doing? Great. Terrific. Thank you so much for joining us, Martin. Um, how is it going at the moment? Because obviously, Rangers second at the moment. Celtic, to many people, running away with it. 14 points clear. Uh, it's difficult keeping them in your sights, is it? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a bit of a, a stop-start season for me personally in the club. I think it's the, the way we started was a bit slower than, than we thought um, for, for obvious reasons. But the last few weeks, we've really found a rhythm and found a form. And hopefully we can continue that and, and take that to the new year. And like you say, football's a... A funny game and, and hopefully we can we can do some catching up to do very much so penny i'm going to let you in in a second on yourself martin you are a firm favorite with, with with the fans up there and i've seen it with my own eyes but you are in and out of the the team at the moment what, what's happening with you um personally I was, I've, i was disappointed to get injured after the first game of the season and i think it just took us a bit longer than usual to get back into the into the swing of things um we've, we've went up a level with the, the caliber of players this year and it's just Took us a bit longer than usual to get going, and I was, I was a bit uh, disappointed with some of my own performances. But like you say, the game the other day was was a big one for me. I, I come in a couple of goals, and as a striker, it's, it's all about getting chances and scoring goals. And I'm, I'm pleased that I was able to able to do that. And hopefully, it's it's a little run that I'm going to go on now. Martin, obviously you have to have the ability to play the level you played at. You've been Charlton, Leicester, Hull. You have loans, haven't you? Millwall, Wigan. Yeah. Just tell me about the mental side of playing for a, a huge club uh, like Rangers because Terry Erlock's a good friend of mine who yeah. was obviously he's a, a Rangers legend and he just said unless you go and play there it, you have no idea of what it's like oh, oh definitely when, when I first obviously heard of the interest from in Rangers you, you, you always look at the history and where it's been that the trophies they won and, and when I come here we're, we're on a roll we're, we're winning games and everything was going great but when, like you say when you have an injury setback or you're in and out of the team and You've got fifty odd thousand fans on your back and stuff like that. It's, it's, mm. it's quite a daunting place. No, no, you don't really understand that until you've experienced it. And my form this season has been great, admittedly, and I've kind of experienced a little bit of that. But I think that I've come out on the big, the bigger side. I've learned from it. I've learned from my me, me, me mistakes, and I just think it's important that you really focus on doing the basics well and this, this crowd will get right behind you giving 100% for the club and that's, that's all that they're wanting, I think. So how, the Rangers is what is what wearing the shirt with pride. Sure. How was Mark Warburton with you? Because uh, every player goes through a dip in form, you know, every, every player loses confidence. But yeah. the way that you play, where you're very mobile, you're all action, you like getting in behind uh, like full-backs, did Mark Warburton say, look, if you, you can work your way through this, if you keep working and you give it 100%, You'll win them back round again. Yeah, I have to give full credit to Gaffa. Obviously, he's he's been he signed us at the club and he's given us a, it's a very good chance and a platform to to excel in my career. And this year, like I say, I've been I've been in and out, but the, the, through the difficult patches, he's always believed and he's always trusting us. He's he's kept us out and he's told us that maybe I'm not ready. And I've, I fully took that on board and, and dealt with it. Worked hard in training and um. Like you say, he's, he's just he's, he's given us the confidence when I've got back in, and, and he's always believed, and he's, he's always said that he's, he's believed in me ability, and it's just down to me. And I think part of the time was just me fighting me on battles with my head, and and doing the and doing the job on the on the pitch. And thank, thankfully, I've hopefully got over that, and, and gonna how, stay in the team for a bit. How is uh, Mark Warburton? What is his uh, demeanour like in training and um, at half time? Because I read an interesting quote of his about Jock Wallace, the famous old Rangers manager, 
and he, he came down to cut and he, he was more like fire and brimstone and ruled by fear and yeah. uh, Mark Warman actually said he looked at him and he thought I'm not that's no way in the world I'm going to manage like that so is he completely the other end? Yeah he's, he's completely different yeah. he's, uh, he's all about just he's, not, he's never going to blame for his mistakes and if you, if you want to play in the right way the, the way the manager wants to play is play off in the back build from the back keep the ball possession and if you're doing the right things, he's not gonna he's not gonna shout at you, blame you, or anything like that. He, he, he'll have a go at you if you're not doing the right things, or you're, you're hiding or whatever like that. But he gives you the confidence to play, to enjoy the football, and dominate and dominating the ball, which is what the Rangers team should be doing. And I was scoring up opposition, and like you say, he's, he's someone that just gives you the confidence to go and play football and get on the ball. So it, it's it's a very different approach, but the boys have bought into it well and. I think for, for a lot of work, it works great. Mm. Martin, it's Bob Mills. Perry and Jim know all about the football side. Just from yeah. my point of view, what are you doing panning around with Robert Carlyle? <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of a strange one. He, the the, the guy I mentioned that he's coming in today, so all the boys are buzzing on, putting on the best. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they get, they're getting the accents going and stuff like that, but I, I think through the, the Southern, I just can't, don't quite get it. But <laughs> no, it's great, it's great to have him in. You watch the boys train and Nice to have someone like that in and about the train, training ground. <laughs> Ask him about a film called There's Only One Jimmy Grimble. <laughs> no, there is. Have you seen it? it is a, oh, it's it is appalling. A, honestly, Sorry. it's a, it's the same as like a Billy's, Billy's Boots sort of concept. Yeah, yeah, I've, Just, I've seen that. It's have you seen it? it? What a yeah, film that is. Great film. Nice picture, though. Look, nice picture, yeah. look. I yeah, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sir. But Bob's just showing me a picture of you, of is you that, and Robert that, Carlyle. Is that, is that uh, and what I can see, all the other lads behind you seem to be working very hard on the weight. <laughs> uh, that, that, that was the thing. I, I was, I was one of the last ones to get a photo, and everyone <laughs> seeing him done the bit, and I was buzzing, coming in, getting to the treatment. I was like, "Hey, there's Robert Carlyle." So I just jumped on the bandwagon and got a photo. So <laughs> could you call him Bob? Why not? <laughs> you allowed to call him Bob? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I just called him Mr. Carlisle, actually, I didn't think. Oh, see that oh, respect. Yeah. What an actor he is. Yeah. To, to yeah. Martin, the, Martin, the number 33 on, on your yeah. back, any superstition there? Why that? Um, it, was, it was a strange one, just the period in my life. It was a, a number of things that kept popping up. Strange things, we moved house, the door number's 33. Um, <laughs> my wife, wife bought us a reg plate that had 33 in it. Then the, just, little, just little things like that kept cropping up and... It was just one of the things that I've stuck with for a few years now, and I, I like the number. It, it goes well. It, it fits well on my back. <laughs> it fits well on your back. <laughs> Brilliant. But Martin, let me, let me just add, touch on Mark Warburton. There, there, there's been talk this week about a possible move for him to the England's under twenty three, uh, under twenty ones. But what, what do you think? It's, he enjoys life in Glasgow. I know that, and he yeah. certainly enjoys uh, being at the helmet Rangers. Yeah. I can, I can totally understand that from from England's point of view, the way they want to go forward with how they they play football. Obviously, possession football, breeding young kids. That the manager's got a great rapport with, bringing young boys to our Brentford, and like you say, he's built a very young squad uh, up here in Rangers. So I can get where the comparisons are, where they want to go forward with that. Mm, obviously, mm. he's a very good manager. He's done well, but I'm sure he's got a lot to prove here and a lot to achieve that he wants to to do here as well. So it'll be be a tough one for. For him, I guess. Martin, what are you hearing from the Rangers fans uh, about the big one on New Year's Eve? I mean, how are you going to go about that against Celtic? Um, I think we've just got to go out, set with stall early doors, get in and amongst them. And like you say, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big one of the biggest games in the world. And you just got to try and distract yourself from all the stuff that goes on the outside. I've, I've come on in a couple of games and not started them on yet. And I've experienced what it's like and it's all about cool heads and I think the way we play football and with the, the boys behind it in the stadium at Ibrox it'll be, a, it'll be a big day but it's all about just the first 10-15 minutes getting control of the ball and seeing where we go from there but like you say it's a, it's a derby and, and anything can happen and Martin finally I mean I've been on Sky Sports News with this you've probably have seen it I mean this this uh, who's going to be the Christmas number one Joe <laughs> Garner or Little yeah. Mix I mean uh, I've heard of Joe oh, Garner. I didn't know about the other one. What is Garner must be very excited about this, is he? Um, Joe doesn't really show much emotion at the best. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I've, I've guessed he's buzzing, but he doesn't really like say show much. But I have to say, a little mix of a couple of my Jodies, aren't there? So I'm, I'm split between the two camps. So. Ah, <laughs> and, and Joe plays no. up front as well. 
exactly. Yeah. So, no, nah, I'll, I'll go for Joey's number one. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Brew it. I'm Mark, that. I'm going to bring it to an end just as we get to Christmas now, but any regrets about the move? Are you are you really happy? I mean, are, are, you, are you going to nail down a longer contract there? What do you think? Um, I'm hopefully, like you say, going to get things sorted in the new year. Things got put on hold in the summer. That was just one of the things where I, I wasn't keen to, to get it done. I wasn't playing well to maybe want a new contract and we just decided to put things on hold and, and say our progressors after the injury so it was a bit bit slow so I just thought let's put it off try and prove a bit more and, and go from there but the first 18 months of my time at Rangers I've had a fantastic year last year and like you say I'm playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world and I'm here to win trophies and hopefully I can do that so I'm in no rush either way and really happy to be back playing and, and scoring goals that's the, the main point and we'll see where it goes from there well, man, it's been terrific of you. Thank you so much. I know you've got a team meeting, I think, coming up in yeah, about 15 yeah, minutes. So perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get a 200 quid fine if I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Martin, and no, uh, really good luck over time. the festive period. Cheers, Martin. Good Cheers, luck, Martin. Good luck with your game in general. Okay, have a good Christmas. Good man. Martin Wycon, nice lad, wasn't he? Good. 